I'm Michael Ginon, I'm an astronomer at the University of Liège in uh, Belgium. And my ERC project is a search for potentially habitable planets orbiting around uh, very small stars. An exoplanet is a planet that is orbiting another star than uh, the Sun, so it's beyond our solar system. And if we can catch a small planet passing in front of a tiny nearby star, we will be able to study it in detail, including study its atmosphere. This planet that we are searching for, and the one that we found around TRAPPIST-1, are very interesting because these are Earth-sized planets. They are also what we could say temperate. They receive basically the same amount of light from the stars and the Earth from the Sun. So they could have some liquid water in theory on the surface. They could have habitable conditions on the surface. And last but not least, they are well suited for detailed characterization. With upcoming telescopes, we will be able to study the atmospheric composition and maybe find traces of life in the atmosphere. And these are the first ones for which we can do this. The conditions on this planet must be quite different than on Earth. They are much closer to the star than the Earth to the Sun, and they must be very different in terms of climate, in terms of irradiation. They must show always the same face to the star, which is called tidal locking, so like the Moon to the Earth. You could have a very hot day side, a very cold night side, and the, the light that is received from the star is also very different. It will be a very red uh, light nearly no blue, uh, no green, just red, so a reddish environment. The star would be much bigger in the sky, as seen from the surface. And the different planets are very close to each other. So you would see the planets in the sky like we see the, the moon. Life would be very different, but uh, you would have a very nice show in the sky on this planet. If we want to send a probe, to send uh, really uh, something that will explore the system, with current technology, it would take hundreds of thousands of years because we can't travel at speeds that are similar to the speed of light. So basically, we can say they are out of reach for in-situ uh, exploration. I think that finding another Earth, really an Earth analog, will take still more decades, maybe two or three decades. But finding planets like the Earth that could be habitable orbiting smaller stars and that for which we could have detailed characterization. It has already been done with TRAPPIST-1 and more are coming and we will have soon a large catalog of several dozens of these planets well suited for detailed characterization. But really on Earth Twin, we still need some technological development and I think we have still to be patient.